This tiny table grows to seat up to 12 people, and we just so happen to live in a tiny 628 square foot apartment. So I've made it my job to find out whether or not a table that gets this big really works in an apartment this small. Our apartment is already a squeeze for just the three of us, as I work entirely from home from our master bedroom, and at most, we can just about squeeze ourselves and three guests on stools around our kitchen island. And despite this arrangement being pretty convenient for reaching into the fridge without even having to leave your seat, over the long term, this setup isn't really working for us. If this table really is as good as it claims to be, it might have the potential to completely change our lives by finally allowing us to invite more than three people over at once. As the sponsors of this video, Transformer Table hooked us up with this setup to find out just how good or bad these tables really are in an apartment like ours. Unlike a lot of direct-to-consumer furniture, this table came fully assembled, which made it a breeze to set up, and after a lot of debating, we decided on placing it in what was my old office space and what now is our daughter's bedroom. This works because we already modified her crib with casters for when she occasionally used to sleep and nap in our bedroom, so seeing as it's so easy to temporarily move her bed and toys into our room, there's no reason that this bedroom couldn't function as a dining room too. The reason this works is because I actually moved this entire YouTube setup from that room into this room thanks to this transforming daybed that we slide away every morning, which is honestly surprisingly comfortable. But by having two bedrooms that get just as much use in the day as they do during the night, it doubles the functionality of these spaces, which is saving us from spending a ton of money in rent too. With just three of its five leaves, it more than comfortably seats eight adults, which is already more than we need for family Thanksgiving. But to give you an idea of just how big this gets, it completely consumes our living area, in extending to over 11 feet long, whilst supporting up to 165 pounds, which are the credentials of a table which should not be able to fit in an apartment of this size. Fitting an 11 foot solid oak dining table in an apartment of this size is absolutely insane. But despite it being nice to know that I can do this, thankfully I can set this table up to be pretty much any size I want. Meaning that if we ever move, we're pretty much guaranteed that this table is going to fit, regardless of how big or small our next place might be. Which might make this the only table we ever need. It helps that it also looks great when set up, but of course, as this solid oak table is capable of all of this, you do need seats for it too. So there's also a matching bench, which does exactly the same thing while storing all of the hidden panels inside, which when paired with some folding chairs and stools from around our house, it gives us the ability to comfortably seat up to eight people in this room, and I think even 10 at a squeeze. This changes everything when it comes to how much we can do with this apartment, as it means that despite the size of our home, we can enjoy all of the benefits of a much larger home simply because of our furniture. And this all becomes possible because after setting it up, what's even more impressive is how small it gets by shrinking down to a footprint that's smaller than some of the most compact of desks. Because of this, it also means that one of us can use it as a workspace when our daughter's in daycare, or just leave it as an inconspicuous console for displaying items. However, despite the bench hiding all of its panels inside, the dining table doesn't do this, which does leave you with a place to store them. Honestly, I have no problem storing these in our closet. However, very recently, we picked up this storage bench for a more social layout in our living area too. However, as this replaces our sideboard, which was our previous drinks surface, 
transformer table sent over another item, which I think completely knocks this setup out of the park. What's incredible is that as a part of this setup, there's a matching coffee table too, which when assembled, creates not only a dining or work surface of its own, but a cavernous amount of storage that is perfectly sized to store the dining table's panels in a sleek and contemporary minimalist package. And thanks to its rising lid, it provides our tiny apartment with yet another work surface, and together with the dining table and bench, all of this functionality takes up less than eight of our apartment's 628 square feet. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, and if you're curious to see how we're planning to use this setup as part of our small home down the line, make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you in the next one.